days of television, we didn't have the same kind of huge audiences and incredible fan clubs that people have now. It was, it was not the earliest days of television, but it was still pretty new, you know, black and white, and there was still uh, people scrambling to make enough product to fill all the time that we had, even if we didn't have cable. And so it wasn't like we got a huge amount of fan mail while we were doing the show, but the interesting thing was we stopped doing the show in 63. In the 70s when the women's movement started, I started getting lots of letters from young women saying, I didn't realize it, but watching your show made me understand that girls could be smart and that they could have ambitions. And now that things are opening up for us, I just wanted to thank you. And it was really an eye opener to me because, you know, you play a character, you don't know you're the only smart girl on television. Um, Max, I think, really took a chance in, in um, letting me be kind of who I was. And, uh, you know, the cover of TV Guide, when I made the cover of TV Guide, the headline was, she's no Marilyn Monroe. So it was like, you can be smart, but you can't be beautiful. But Max came to me after that cover came out, and he said, yeah, but you're cute. Don't forget that. So, I, you know, I felt good about it.